mask images to text in Google Slides. It's not technically supported, but there is a workaround that will let you create slideshows just like this one, rainforest and space. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to start a brand new slideshow to demonstrate how you can do this using a little workaround. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the subtitle. I do not need that. And I'm going to type what I would like this to be about. For example, the rainforest that you saw in my example slide. It could be anything. It could be a big city as well. We're going to type New York. So let's go ahead and do that. New York. There we go. We want this text to be a mask. And then behind it, we want to see some image of the city of New York. So let's go ahead and find our image. And then we're going to work with that. I'm going to go to insert image and search the web. We are going to look for New York skyline. And there we go. Let's find a beautiful image of the New York skyline. We can use any of these images. I actually want it to be at night because I think that will look great. Let's find a nighttime skyline view. Let's get this image and insert. Okay, we have our image. We are going to make this image nice and large here in the middle. There we go. And obviously we want to push it to the back behind our text. So let's go ahead and click on order and send it to the back. Okay, we have our text at the front. Let's go ahead and make our text black and much, much larger. Let's go with 200 as our font size. That's a bit too big. Let's see, 100, 100 is perfect and bold. Okay. We have our text. We have our image. Now, the workaround is to use a special font. Now, the fonts in Google Slides here at the top, they are available right here. Scrolling down, you will notice that there are a limited number of fonts depending on how often you have added fonts to this. You're going to click on more fonts. And the font you're looking for is called the Zilla Slab font. So we're going to look for Zilla. You can see it here, Zilla Slab Highlight. I want to use that font because that font has a special effect. So let's go ahead and select the Zilla Slab Highlight. There we go. You can see it has that black outline, the highlight, and it sees through this text. So let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. We're going to make this Zilla slab font much, much larger. And then make sure that our image is large enough to cover all the text. I'm going to scroll down or move it down until we have the area of the image we want to keep. There we go. I'd like to keep that part of the image. And now the final step is for us to crop our image. At the top, I'm going to click on crop image and simply crop the bottom away, enter. And now I have my special effect of my text and that special font creating a mask effect. Now to create an even more immersive effect, what you can do is what I've done right here with space. Is you can give your slide a color as well. So I'm going to right click on my slide, change the background and make this black as well. Now I have my text right here with that mask effect. I can move this up to the top. You can see it looks really clean, really neat and tidy. A great way of effectively creating a mask effect by using a workaround, by using a different font, the font Zilla Slab highlight. I just want to say a quick thank you to all the channel members. Thank you for making it possible to create this content. You can see all the names here. And if you'd like to join the channel as a member, scroll down to find that join button. In the meantime, for even more Google Slides tips, click on the video here and I will see you in the next one.